Hey Foxies, my name is Simon Fox. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. So yeah, if you're returning, welcome back. Like always, this is never about subscribers nor about money, but about love and light. So with that being said, today we're gonna be doing an easy Valentine's eyeshadow makeup tutorial. So let's get straight into it. I went straight in with my Jeffree Star concealer and setting it with the white glucose from the blood sugar palette I always do this for all my looks just because I just love using that combo uh, if y'all have watched my previous videos y'all know why um, and here I'm taking the red from the James Charles palette you guys y'all can use any red y'all have um, but I'm taking the one from the James Charles palette and just putting that on my crease and blending it up so obviously since I have hooded eyes, I take mine higher than my crease normally would go. So that way, basically the shades are visible and I'm not taking them away when I cut my crease. If y'all have hooded eyes, eyelids, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. So here I'm just taking the pink from the James Charles palette and using that to blend further up and diffuse basically any harsh lines from that red shade. You want to make sure whenever you're blending to blend the shades together and make sure that there's no harsh lines in between them. So here as y'all can see I took a deeper red shade so more of like a maroon and just putting that in the crease to deepen up the crease a little bit more and making sure that that's really blended as well so just using that shade to deepen up that cut crease so that way whenever i cut the crease it basically has a really good contrast in between where the crease is cut and where the shades begin i feel like when you add a darker shade in between the cut crease and the shades it adds more contrast and y'all already know I'm all for that I love that so much I also want to say you guys thank you so much for watching my videos I know they're not the most exciting thing and I know that my voice is very monotone. I try to sound as enthusiastic as possible. Um, but if you know me in person, you know that that's just how I am. But I want y'all to know that my channel is still gonna be the most honest channel, the realest channel. Um, it's gonna be me, it's gonna be real, it's gonna be authentic. I'm not gonna put up a front and act like somebody I'm not. Y'all are always gonna, see this person that y'all are getting so yeah so here i'm just taking a q-tip and using that as a guide to cut my crease i then use concealer just to follow up that and basically cut my crease with a concealer a jeffree star concealer i honestly love that concealer so much you guys if y'all haven't used it y'all need to use it it's so so good So as y'all could see, that's the reason I use the Q-tip method. If y'all haven't tried it out, please let me know if you like it in the comments. I would love, love to know. And if you've tried it, let me know if you like it. Um, I feel like it just, it guides me so perfect with my hooded eyes on where my cut crease needs to be. And I feel like my cut crease comes out so sickening. Here I'm just taking the glitter Divine from the Thirsty palette, the pressed glitter. I honestly love this palette so, so much. Like this palette is, I think they're not making it anymore. I think he said that it was not being made anymore, which is really, really sad because I honestly love this palette so much. So if you didn't get your hands on it, I feel so bad for you because these 
The glitters in here are sickening, like they're amazing. Obviously, y'all see how just effortless they go on and just how creamy they are. They honestly are so soft. Here, I'm just taking that same maroon shade that I used to deepen up that where the crease is, basically. Um, and I'm, I used that to blend in the shadow and the glitter. And now I'm taking my favorite liner, the Kat Von D liner. I love any liner that is black, honestly. I love all kinds of liners, actually, but... But this has been my favorite liner, go-to liner, um, since I've gotten it. I don't know why. It just works really, really well for me, and I don't feel like it moves, it smudges, any of that. So if you're looking for an all-day liner, this is the liner. By the way, you guys, I use the tape method, so that way I get my liner to be bomb AF. Um, if you haven't tried the tape method, I would highly suggest it. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you have tried it. So here I'm just taking my Urban Decay mascara. I don't know how old this is and I don't even know if they still make it in the same packaging, but it does the trick. It's mascara, you guys. Um, I usually only do mascara in my looks, but today I wanted to be a little bit more extra because this is a Valentine's look and yeah, I wanted it to be a little bit more spicy. So yeah, I put on some lashes, made it look a little bit more fluffy on the ends. I didn't add any lashes to the, basically the, what is it, the beginning of my eye, um, just because I wanted that fluttery look at the end. And just gonna be brushing off all that baking powder. Y'all know I love baking. I don't have any lip liners, so I went ahead and took this brown paint lip liner, I guess you could say. Um, I used it as a lip liner. I got this idea from Ashley. Thank you so much, Ashley. She had put this lip liner on me the other day that she did my makeup, basically. If y'all haven't checked out that video, make sure to go check it out. I feel like it's two videos previous to this one it's a really really good video pretty much any video that i've done with her is hilarious it's funny i feel like i act more like myself because i can talk to somebody i'm not talking to a camera but yeah so here i just lined my lips obviously a little bit bigger than my own lips because i don't i don't have big lips like that but this definitely makes the illusion look like my lips are big and luscious and here I'm taking the shade Lolita from the Cap on D lipsticks and I honestly love 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 this lipstick so much um, it is matte but I always add gloss to it and it just just a wow y'all will see at the end Here going back to the James Charles palette and using that shade, it's more of a red shade, um, has like a red brown undertone. Yeah, I'm using that shade to apply as under eyeshadow. I honestly love, love, love how this made my eyes pop and just brought the whole look together without having too much eyeshadow underneath. But yeah, you guys, this is the finished look. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. I'm setting my face here with some Morphe setting spray. I love this. And this wraps up the Valentine's look, you guys. I hope y'all have a happy Valentine's. If you recreate this, please tag me. Make sure to leave some love, some likes, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see y'all Saturday. Bye, Foxies.